Let's get to some other headlines that we are watching this morning. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky set to meet with President Biden at the White House and to address a joint session of Congress this evening to ask for support to counter Russia's invasion. It's Zelensky's first trip abroad since Russia invaded Ukraine in February of this year. And the visit comes after U.S. lawmakers proposed a spending bill this week that includes an additional $44.9 billion in aid to help Ukraine. Former President Donald Trump paid $1.1 million in taxes during his first three years as president, but paid no taxes at all in 2020. That's according to tax data released by the House Ways and Means Committee. Trump and his wife, Melania, reported negative adjusted gross income from 2015 through 2017. And those are among the initial revelations after the committee won access to those records following a protracted battle that led to the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, the committee now says the Internal Revenue Service did not complete an audit of Trump's tax returns when he took office, even though such a practice is supposed to be mandatory. The IRS only began its audit, which, by the way, is still going on, the same day the Ways and Means Committee first requested Trump's records. And the National Football League is reportedly in advance talks to give YouTube TV exclusive rights to NFL Sunday ticket. That would allow fans to watch most Sunday afternoon games. All of this according to the Wall Street Journal. Details of the agreement have not yet been reported. The addition of Sunday Ticket would boost YouTube streaming efforts as the company looks to broaden beyond advertising sales and into subscription revenue. The agreement could be reached as early as this afternoon.